So here is another example on uh, press tracing. Uh, here is a rectangular cross section of a 250 mm wide and 600 mm deep. It is press traced by means of the four tendons uh, of 14 mm diameter which are located at 200 mm from the soft weight and the initial press stress in these tendons are of 700 mp. Then what we need to find? We need to find the maximum bending moment that can be applied to the section without causing a tension at the soffit of the pin means we need tensile stresses zero okay at uh, bottom fiber means this is the case at the uh, stage of service okay so let us move towards this solution cross-sectional area as 250 by 600 and area of steel four tendons of 14 mm diameter so area of steel can be find out like this four into area of each uh, bar uh, will be like this second uh, cross uh, what we can say section modulus section modulus will be bd square by 6 and eccentricity e since the tendons are situated at 200 mm from the soffit and uh, beam having a depth of 600 mm so it is bit obvious that uh, the neutral axis must be lying at the mid the depth that is uh, at the distance of 300 mm from soffit so is if i need to find a eccentricity that is the distance of a uh, tendons from the neutral axis so 300 minus 200 i will get eccentricity okay the next press stressing force the cross sectional area of a tendon multiplied by the stress that is 700 is the stress and 616 is the cross sectional area so 431.2 kN of press stressing force are acting in our case uh, next therefore due to this data direct stress induced will be p by a which is found to be at 2.87 and it will be a positive always because these stresses are compressive in nature another due to the eccentricity of 100 uh, the bending stress induced due to the pre-stressing would be given like this and uh, which is found to be a uh, pe by z that is pre-stressing force by z uh, so it will be a minus plus because uh, the uh, moment induced due to the eccentricity of a pre-stressing force will be of a hogging in nature so these stresses have to be considered as a minus plus that is a tensile at top and compressive at bottom and uh, the bending stresses due to the moment say m here mg plus q that is the bending moment plus dead load moment Dono mila ke hum as a M le rahe aur yes bending stress diye jayege M by Z itne. Okay. Inka nature ulta rahega plus minus rahega upar mein compressive niche mein tensile because these are of a sagging in nature. Next, this is the uh, stress distribution due to for a given condition. Uh, what we can see here, here we can see that is the direct stress found to be P by A agar karo to hum 2.87 mila hai. P by Z is a minus 2.87 mila hai. Okay. Upper mein tensile hai, negative, niche mein compressive hai, positive, okay. Or moment ke wazhi se jo ane wala uh, stress hai, that will be a compressive at top and tensile in nature, uh, jo ki initially humne le liya hai, but kitna hai, hume pata nahi, because M pata nahi, aur wahi hume nikalna hai, but hume ye pata hai, that the stresses at the bottom should remain zero, correct. So, Sim solution is simple. Just I have to write the equation for bottom stresses. Bottom stress ka agar equation aap likho, so resultant stress at the bottom fiber, which is zero, and usko equate karo zero se, to aapko m mil jayega. Dekhte hai kaise. This is the equation for bottom stresses, which comprises of P by A plus P E by Z T. Ye pre stress ke wajah se aaya. Bottom mein hai aur pre stressing tendon bhi bottom mein hai, isliye yahan pe plus aaya. And minus m by z t where m is uh, unknown okay so just putting the value of all these and m is unknown and equating this to the zero because the bottom most stresses are zero so we will get the value of m correct so just equating these we get m to be 86.1 kN meter so itna moment ye beam agar itna moment ye beam par aata hai to bottom most stresses for sure tensile nahi hogi Sorry, yes, not tensile or okay, compressive. Oh, zero. Okay, compressive is not going to be but tensile is not going to Okay, now from here, one uh, task is given to you. I will tell you that live load is not going to be for zero at bottom stresses. Okay, so what do you think? Simple. You have total moment is not going to be able to do it. Correct. Now, you need to find 
एम जी दैट इज मोमेंट ड्यू टू डेड लोड और जी आप निकाल ही सकते हो क्रॉस सेक्शन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 24 फोर दैट इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट सो एम जी निकाल के ये मोमेंट से डिडक्ट कर दो बचा हुआ एम क्यू रहेगा एंड इक्वेटिंग दैट एम क्यू टू क्यू एल स्क्वायर बाय एट फाइंड क्यू क्यू विल बी दाइव लोड टू विच दिस बीम शुड बी सब्जेक्टेड फॉर विच कंडीशन फॉर बॉटम मोस्ट स्ट्रेस शुड रिमेन जीरो ओके सो दिस वॉज द There are few problems for a self study here. Uh, just go through it. I will be providing the uh, PDF of this uh, presentation to you and just go through it. Uh, do some word study on it. Okay. And for my viewers, uh, just have a snap of it and study it. Another problem uh, for a rectangular concrete beam. so feel free for any doubt to contact me at any time okay thank you for being with us thank you for holding your patience next time we will be uh, dealing with another new topic till then bye bye take care stay at home so here i am signing out